This is one of the setup that you should see and immediately find your account and ready to trade in this market. Guys, this setup is very easy, but many people try to avoid it and some people are fearful they will maybe get caught up in the wrong market. But I'm here to tell you, whenever you see such a setup from this video, if you master it, you'll be able to trade in day out, day in before everyone uh, understands what is really going on hi guys my name is esther Moffrey, and if you're new here my, uh, you're most welcome so this is for our chart this is audio usd and you will notice that we are on this consolidation so the market is neither breaking down nor breaking up that's all you need to see you need to see such a setup the market neither breaking resistance nor breaking support once you identify that, you can see here very clearly, very clear. It is neither breaking resistance and this is support that is not getting broken. So this is the setup that you need to put in a box. We call it a channel setup. So whenever you see a channel setup, put in that box and now wait for the three rules. So you will wait for the three rules. Three things can happen here. I think four things can happen. Let me now write here. You have marked your box. Now let's see. Four things can happen. Four things can happen. You have to write before they happen because what is the need of them happening and you're not getting involved. So four things can happen and you write them whenever you see a channel. This is something that I have seen and it has really helped me. Four things can happen. The first one, Number one, resistance can be broken. Resistance can be broken. Number two, support can be broken. It is easier. Support can be broken. Number three, we can have fake break at resistance number four we can have fake break we can we can have fake break at support that's the only thing that can happen. And many people, because of hearing, oh, it might be a fake breakout, they don't trade the channel, which is the easiest setup for beginners, for advanced. These are setups that if you pick this setup, find your account and ready to trade, be ready to trade. So what I mean by resistance can break, the market can come at resistance and it can get broken like that. What do I mean by support getting break, broken? Support can be broken like that. So the market can break our support. It will be wait for retest. Or sometimes even it does not retest. And then continues. And then what do I mean? Uh, how do you know the distance of your take profit? Is that the length of that channel? So the length of the channel is where we know if this market breaks, we have an entry, guys. So that is the, the, the distance. If this market breaks, that's the distance it will go. So that is very clear. Everyone can be able to to everyone can be able to know that if this market breaks either up or down, that's what I'm targeting. But do you know the market can remain in that consolidation for one month, two months, three months, one week? Do you have the patience, guys? What will you be doing if this market does break at resistance or break at support. So in either case, that one is direct. But the, let me tell you one thing. It doesn't happen immediately you see the setup. If you see the setup, wait for another two weeks for that market to happen. So will you wait for two weeks for you to trade? Of course, you can wait and trade other pairs. But if you want still to trade these pairs, now we come to number three. We can have a fake break at resistance now what do i mean by fake 
break at resistance. I'll extend my box. So this is number one. This is number one that can happen. Number one. Number two. Now we have number three. What can happen if the market breaks the resistance? You can have a fake breakout. How does a fake breakout look like? Fake breakout is where the market breaks, reach the reach at half, maybe goes halfway, then tries to come back. Instead, it retests, it breaks, it gets inside the zone and starts creating a structure of low lows and low highs. And eventually that market goes back to this support. That's a fake breakout. How do we know a fake breakout at the downside? Is when the market pretends to break at the downside, come to retest. But in this case, it gets into the, the channel and starts creating high highs and high lows coming back to this resistance. This is the confusion that is in the market. Whenever you trade a channel and you had the market broke, you entered your buy here and the market went against you, automatically in your mind, what is registered is stay away from this kind of setups. The market registers. I will stay away. But if you know that if, if I get a channel set up like this, and four things can happen. I can have even a fake breakout. And I can have a fake breakout on the support. What you tell your mind is that it's okay if I have a fake breakout. Now you need to understand what do I do if I have the fake breakout. Because you can't just wait for entry without the retest. What do I do or how do I know is the fake breakout? Let me start there. So you need to understand two things can happen. You can be able to find your setup on a buy if it breaks, retest very well, enter again, breaks, retest, enter. And I've talked about how you enter on a market if it retests. If the market retests and it's an accurate retest, two things can happen. And I've told you, if this market comes around here, if this market comes around here, you see, if the market comes around here, it has broken, comes around here. Two things can happen. I'll write them here. Number one, ask yourself, do you have, do you have bullish engulfing? So I'll just write engulf. Do you have bullish engulf? If not, if not, put WBB. So that is the entry signal for the market that wants to retest. It's that easy. Number two, if the market retests, if this is the second uh, second setup that you have got, the market has retested here and you want to continue entering if it, it, if it breaks, the second thing that you're asking yourself is exactly what you have said. Now here, and unlike, um, unlike the bearish bullish engulfing, we will pick we will pick what bearish engulfing. So I'll just copy that and I'll delete. Instead of bullish, we do bearish and gulf. So guys, I hope you're following. I hope you're following. So if situation one, setup one happens, market breaks resistance and it comes and retest. The retest, when the retest is happening, ask yourself, do you have a bullish and gulfing candle? Before even you ask yourself bullish and gulfing candle, let me write here. Two, three, three signal, three entry signal. And I've, I write this on all my videos. Three entry signal. Number one. Wait, wait for green candle. So after you wait for green candle, now that's when you ask yourself, is the candle, the candle that is green, the candle that is green, is it bullish engulfing? The candle that is green, is it bullish engulfing? The candle that is green, if it is not, put a WBB and wait. Wait, box, break. So the same thing here. When the market retest, wait for red candle because, of course, after the retest, we want to sell. 
So we are waiting for the red candle. So number one, three, entry, signal. The reason why I write is because writing makes everything easier. So wait for red candle. Wait for red candle. So number two, mm. ask yourself, has it and bearish and gaff? Number three, if not, put WBB. So we are settled and many people do this. And let me tell you, that never happened. 99% it never happened immediately. What happens is number three, we have a fake breakout at resistance. So how do you tackle this break out? So if we have number three, you write here. If number three happens, if number three happens, fake breakout, what do you do? So if fake breakout happens, automatically we might have a pattern. We might, we might have a pattern. If number three happen, we might have a pattern. So we might have a pattern and I'll show you. If we have a fake breakout, do you know we can have a head and shoulder pattern? Because if fake breakout goes all the way and comes down back to the, to the support, maybe we have a head and shoulder pattern. Have you ever thought like that, guys? I'm giving you something. If we have, this is the shoulder, and then the head is the fake breakout. The market goes back. Now you'll have an entry on buy. So you'll have how many entries? You will have an entry on the fake breakout to sell down here. You'll have an entry on a buy here to the shoulder. You'll have an entry on the sell here. So you'll have three trades. Guys, you'll have three trades on this setup. So whenever you find the market that has a fake breakout, it is not the end of the day, uh, the end of the story. Actually, you have three possibility to enter that market. Guys, get it and get it today. Once you get this channel and you know that I'm waiting on either resistance to get broken or support to get broken, but I have fake breakout at the resistance, automatically you know I might have I might have a pattern that is called head and shoulder. And I've told you, head and shoulder, you'll have how many entries? Three entries. You will sell at support. You'll buy at back to the shoulder. You will sell back at support. And now we'll wait at the neckline to get broken. So you'll have four trades, four good trades, four good trades. And you'll not be caught up on the fake breakout issue. So let me delete the, let me delete that shoulder and we can continue if you have a fake breakout you might have a pattern now this is the three if you have a break at resistance you may have a pattern which pattern is this head and shoulder head and shoulder so if number four happens that is number three if number four happens what do you think we'll have we'll have another pattern if number four happens if number four happens, if number four happens, number four is the fake breakout, fake breakout, break at support. What do you think will happen if we have this? If number four happens, the fake, we might have a pattern. We might, and I'm saying might, it's not a must. We might have a pattern we might have a pattern so this pattern it is inverted 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 head and shoulder so if this happens already we have inverted head and shoulder so number three happens you have a shoulder head shoulder head and shoulder pattern this one is we have an inverted head and shoulder what do i mean if the market never breaks our resistance but comes and breaks here what do you think will happen guys we have the market that is coming all the way. We have this market. This is our shoulder. And then now this is an extended head that is making us believe it's a fake breakout. 
where do you think the market will go the market will go back to the resistance where the market does not want to break then comes back again to this shoulder so you will be able to mark your shoulder well goes back and now we'll be waiting the market to break to break the resistance so you will have an entry here if the market gives us this fake breakout below if you wait for resistance and it does not happen you can enter sell here all the way to our neckline and then you can enter buy you are not sell you can enter buy to this resistance our neckline enter sell to the shoulder enter another buy to the neckline and now wait for that neckline to be broken number 4 entry is the overall overall so guys let me now delete that and i show you what really happened to this market do you want to see what happened i have taught you that was theory now let's get come back to we are coming back to what let's come back to practical so we want to see the practical i hope you have understood everything i have said here i have given you if it is entry signal and retest both sides if not now we have a like a blueprint we'll be waiting to see what really happens and we'll be able to execute with what is happening so the first thing we need to see a break either on the resistance or on the support we want to see a break either on the resistance or support so let's let's play our video our play mode so almost we had a break here but you can see very clearly it didn't break you can see it didn't break so we don't have a break there so uh let's see we are waiting to see where we'll have a break so the market is on the channel when the market is on a channel don't do anything because i've told you you only do what the market tells you we have a break this market can either to do two things for us to get in either it retests and we follow the rules of retest the rules are here i have not deleted them it retests we enter and our target is here or we wait if it does not retest we will have number 3 we can have a fake breakout at resistance and if we have a breakout at resistance we might have a head and shoulder this can be a head for me so let's see what happen so the candles we are waiting for the market to retest So let me tell you guys this is not a retest the red two red candles they are in decision so the moment the head is still forming the fake breakout is still forming we can call it a fake breakout or the head so you can call it head or fake breakout is still forming so we are waiting for retest so the market is still forming and we fast start getting market coming down so at this moment we don't know if we'll have this retest retest is a wait for green candle So let's first see this retest how it goes. So the market it's approaching our zone and we are very happy. We can't enter buy because many people they make a mistake of entering buy here and targeting the, uh, this direction. You enter buy and target here. And you say ah uh, this market it had already broke uh, the resistance I'm targeting I'll get 117 pips my friend. Wait for green candle. These are your rules. And they cannot change. These are the rules that we have here. Number 1, wait for green candle. Is the green candle uh, formed? No. So we can't go to rule number 2 because rule number 1 has not even happened. So we wait. So rule number 1 still not happening. We don't have a green candle. Immediately we have a green candle. So this is something that I tell my uh the class that I uh, I teach. One of the things that I noticed is that you don't tell everything the secret all the secrets in your analysis. There is a secret with this candle. You see here you can interpret this market as bullish engulfing candle but not that is not the case because the candle that is middle it is already an indecision candle. So we do not consider this as bullish engulfing and that one I and I elaborate more on my mentorship. I have a paid mentorship program where I, I charge 400 USD that is 40,000. If you want 
for me to do even this one on one i can do it for you so we don't do bullish engulfing this waiting for green candle do you have a bullish engulfing this i don't consider it as bullish engulfing because the engulfing candle that is in question is an indecision candle you can't say you have a bullish engulfing and in, in on an indecision candle so i will say if not put wbb so we are putting wbb on this green candle if you have that is not a bullish engulfing because it has not uh it is an indecision candle and i teach my student that so we have we are waiting for wbb so if wbb happens we can now target all the way mm -hmm. to take profit now let's see what happened the market did not break we adjust our box we are adjusting our box we are waiting for the market to break that box it doesn't break even at the downside so here automatically because the three it's coming into play we might have a pattern head and shoulder this is what you, it means this is all of this is shoulder all of this is shoulder this one is shoulder this is the neckline i have so many ratings i don't want to delete because you can follow you can pause the video and follow this this leg is the shoulder now this is an extended head which was our fake breakout how do we enter the fake breakout if at all it breaks this consolidation because we were waiting for WBB to happen on the above. But now, if it breaks on the downside, it becomes the leg that is completing the head. Hey, guys, I hope you're understanding. So what happens, the market is at that point and we, cannot, we don't have a break. You see, we do not have a break. You can't say we have a break. We don't have a break. Let's now continue and you have a break at that point guys we have this break so where is our shoulder this is our shoulder remember we are trading inside the channel the channel that people avoid many people would have been caught up here as you're not caught up many people would have sold here they are not confident as we are confident so the first trade we will we will we will uh, target this zone so the first trade we are targeting here, you see this week, you can target around here. Let me now put, this is the, the overall target, but you can target that end of those weeks because you don't want to stretch. So you can have 75 pips, that's our first trade. And remember we have changed the direction, the market was to, we were to buy, but now we know better. We know our channel can give us fake breakout and fake breakout means completion of head so you will put a limit a buy limit ah not buy you will put a sell limit around this place so you will put a sell limit if we go to one hour we can define that order block so yes you can define that order block 15 minutes let me see if you can define it no, let's stick to four hour. You can put another block at this position, 78, 78, 34, but immediately you have entered the trade. So this one, it's not a must. The market, it's not a, mark, a must, it retraced. It's not a must, the market retraced, but we are just putting, hoping the market can retrace. I know today my chart is, has so many information. Bear with me. I want people to get this concept. So short position here. You want 75 pips, but remember, there's an entry. The stop loss is that high. You can put your stop loss wherever you want. Use ATR. Now I'm not teaching about stop loss. I'm teaching about entry and execution. So let's see what happened to our trade. Our trade hit TP. Our trade even never got to, it just retested this box. It never got to our buy limit. So first trade the one i was telling you we tick our first trade i told you you'll get four entries four trades correct that's our first trade so we can pull like that we hide our first trade entry like that so at the neckline remember we on we know this was a channel at the neckline what do you think will happen the the buyers will start buying the market to come to this shoulder this is the shoulder guys so buyers are willing to make this market um to to bring this market many people who buy this market they don't know even they are buying in in a pattern they will think it's a, a retracement so as you are getting in for this buy because it's a shoulder so we use wbb to enter 
if the market breaks that box because we have the presence of the green candle it's a, on a support you know the market is getting rejected at support so we see what happens the market of course goes down and target if at all we were hitting our target was here we could have hit our tp so we remove this box and we wait for green candle entry entry signal we're waiting for green candle the first green candle we have it so we put a box we put a box second green candle has it broken of course where are we targeting back to the resistance guys here and here guys we have a block you have a block here oh today my chat is very busy forgive me for that i don't want to delete anything for people who are taking notes so this is our order block and that's why we are targeting that is we know it is our shoulder so we target how many pips 64 so the second trade let's see if the second trade uh we will get it right stop loss have told you use atr Put your stop loss wherever you want that low wherever you want so um our target is there so did we get our target hit so our target we want to see if it hit our target so we are just waiting and our target is hit you can see we got that hit our target was hit so in this case we have a shoulder we have the head we have the shoulder what do you think will happen the market will come down and it will come down to the same position guys the neckline the market is coming to the neckline and note the previous box the first box we had it has not been broken so the market is at the order block what do we do if uh, to get entry either a bearish engulfing if not wbb so let's see what we get let's see what we get the first candle we want to get is the red candle. So do we get the red candle? It has not engulfed. So this is the box that we will be working with. We want to see candle breaking this box. If we have the candle breaking that box, we have our entry. Remember, we are dealing with a fake out. This is how to trade fake out. You don't need to wait for the market. You are always afraid. Will I get fake out? No, I'm showing you a way to trade it. So the red candle, let's see if we get a, a, a break. We don't have a break. Until we have a break, that's when we enter. We have a break. Now, if you enter this market, we are targeting. And you'll see you have two entries. You can have this as an entry, entry one. And now you are more confident. You have entry one back. To the, to the zone. We have entry one back to that zone where the market has had um, reached first and we can uh, bring it back to, we are targeting the bodies of this market and we keep extending our box. Don't forget the purpose of the box. Don't forget the purpose of the box. So the trade two, this is trade two, it was accurate. Now trade three, will it be accurate? Remember you have an order block around here. You can put a sell limit around there so let's see if it will get to entry so entry one immediately how many pips are we targeting how many pips are we targeting 52 pips and these are an easy trade so 52 pips let's see if it will hit our tp so it has activated our our it was almost hitting our tp you can see how almost hitting the tp because we we were targeting um we were targeting the bodies of this the bodies of this candle but our order has been activated here our order has been activated now and almost i think the tp was hit i don't know let's let's see the tp was hit yes the tp was hit you can see guys the tp was hit so the that trade now the last trade the last trade, if you exhaust that, if you exhaust the third trade, don't trade until now this box is broken. Because what happens is, if they don't break, you know how head and shoulder patterns behave? If it doesn't break this, the neckline, it goes back to the head. So we do not want the market where, um, we, we do not want to get involved now, unless the market comes to the shoulder again, but we are waiting for that neckline to be broken. So we can play this and see what really happened so i will increase 
see what happens. The market, you can see it came back. Oh, many writings. The market came back to this zone. We want to see if it will break here. So let's see what happened. So the market, it is, um, the market broke. Hey, if you see this, this market had not broke our, our support for so long. This support was not getting broken for so long. Now the body has broke. We are using the entry signal. Wait for red candle. Do you have bearish engulfing? If not, put WBB. Once it breaks like this, red candle, is, is it bearish, engulf, bearish engulfing? No. Put WBB. Did it break? No. Until we get that idea. Did it break? No. Don't have it. So we will continue. Now we have a confirmation because the market has, at last, it has broken the support. So we wait. We wait until we get red candle. If red candle, is it engulfing this? No. Again, we wait. We have red candle. Is it and is we do WBB? This is something that you should even be doing. We, we have WBB. No, it is not happening. It is the market is trapping in seller buyers. So we have we have WBB. It has has it broken WBB? No. The answer is no. We continue. Has it broken WBB? No. You won't enter if WBB has not broken. WBB, no. Red candle again. We start again. Red candle here. Our, our goal, the market has to go where we saw. You see, guys, where we saw, the market has to go there. But we need an entry. Has it broken? I think we now have an entry, guys. Bully, bearish, engulfing candle. Now, when you once you have bearish engulfing, this is a lot of patience. Patience. Where is this market going? Where do you think the market will go? That distance. You see, this is our accurate position. So you enter here and forget about this trade. A short position, not long. Short position. You're entering this trade. And this is our last trade. And you wait. The stop loss, use ATR to know about the stop loss. So we have one trade, two trades, three trades. Initially, if you were using just break and, and entering, here you could have entered, you could have been losing trade. Here you could have entered losing trade. But we have three winning trades. Now waiting for the overall. How many pips? This is the trade that now you risk. You put good lot size because it will pay you guys. It will really pay you. So you look for money. You have been waiting for this trade for how many weeks? We started trading around here. Let's see how many. I told you, if you see such setups, they stay. For how many? For 28 days. For a whole month, you have been waiting for a setup. This is your setup, guys. But you have been trading in between. This is your setup. So we will play to see what really happened. What did the market do? Did the market... Did the market come to our place? Did the market come to our place? So what did the market do? Eventually, the market broke. It broke. Made rounds, made rounds. All this place you are entering the market. See, here is the, the place you entered. This is the place you entered. The market came back. You would have entered more positions, but eventually the market Came. And these are the trades that you swing. Mm -hmm. Guys, I hope this video was helpful. It was very long, 34 minutes, but it's 34 minutes of pure, pure information. So if it, you do one trade, if at all you were to be taken on the drawdown, how many pips would you have been taken drawdown? You entered here, the market just went, how many pips? 19 pips. So if you were doing even lots of one, you could have just been 19, 190 drawdown, but you would have gained, you would have gained how many pips? You would have gained how many pips? 190. That's almost 2,000 profits if you did a one lot size. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Repeat this video. This video is very informative. 
lots of information if you don't understand you can sign up for my mentorship i charge 400 dollars see you and i love you love you so much bye bye